Welcome to Soul Chemistry and thank you for joining us. Nora, this video is for you. This is your day, the day of irreverence. The artist known for his lovely art deco images, Erte, was born on this day. Uh, November 23rd, you are a peak cusp, the cusp of revolution. Laurel Thatcher Ulrich said, well-behaved women seldom make history. So with that in mind, Nora, you are free-spirited, humorous, insouciant, individualistic. Yours is a potent cusp. On the one hand, you have the excitement, enthusiasm, and fearlessly philosophical nature of Sagittarius. And then on the other hand, you have the determined, stoic, achievement-driven Capricorn. Fire and earth, when combined, can create incredibly beautiful works of art like pottery and ceramics. Um, and when you put these two elements together, they can create a strong and stable environment to hold all manner of wonderful things. Um, and of course it lends itself to a beautiful object to behold, which is you. Um, your sun placement at zero degrees Sagittarius endows you with intense determination spiced with lively extroversion. Um, you are active in both mind and body. Uh, the archer, whose opposite is Gemini, uh, is philosophical with a restless desire for travel, knowledge, language, and experience. Not one to follow the crowd, your beliefs must be justified and proven in order for them to stick. Um, you instinctually rebel against all forms of authority and repression, and yet, later in life, nor you may find yourself in a position of authority. It is the mix of Sagittarius fire and um, the Capricorn cardinal earth that allows this to happen. Um, it's also supported by the 10th house influence on your Mercury and Venus. Um, your reactions to rules that are enforced upon you may be silence on your part or even a physical gesture. Uh, regardless, others are always absolutely clear where you stand. You rarely back down from confrontation at the same time, there is a tendency on your part to actually provoke those arguments. Uh, you have compulsive tendencies. Your combative nature rises when you are around those that you find difficult to suffer. Um, cultivate patience in these circumstances, otherwise uh, you may find yourself isolated as a result. Uh, learn to forgive and let go of possessiveness. Nora, patience helps direct compulsive and sometimes aggressive energies to more positive ends. It helps you, helps you slow and dampen that rush, that fiery rush. Um, you may have experienced strife with one or both parents growing up. Remember that it is human nature to disappoint. Leave room always for forgiveness. Make peace now over any unresolved conflicts and have no regrets. Uh, because you are, Nora, um, an archer, a restless explorer, a warrior, I recommend the book Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman, who said, to be authentic literally means to be your own author. Think about that. You have a ready wit and an excellent sense of humor. Uh, it helps to diffuse explosive situations that you sometimes find yourself in. Spirituality is a theme that emerges more as you mature. Um, 
consider meditation and prayer to help direct those energies. Um, it also will help liberate you from any negative aspects of temperament. Set a daily structure that revolves around business or family affairs to help tame your wilder instincts. Um, draw on that restless energy when it's time to move on to a higher goal. Nora, your moon is in Leo in the eighth house. Often bossy, this placement gives you a happy enthusiasm. Um, you can be a source of inspiration to others, a leader. You believe you can do anything well and better. You have great potential and you can achieve your aspirations. You can be a big achiever, big achiever. You want to make the right impression, especially when young. You cope well with emergencies, and your imagination, intuition, and emotions are strong. It is advisable to express these energies positively uh, through some sort of artistic expression. Uh, if you do not have someone in your life who is a mentor, Nora, seek one. I, I recommend SCORE, that's S-C-O-R-E, which stands for Service Corps of Retired Executives. Your moon is in the eighth house, which emphasizes having a sixth sense. Um, intuition and emotions, again, are emphasized. Watch out for jealousy and suspicion, which can undermine your ability to love without reservation. You can rise above this, nor by focusing on your passion and managing your self-awareness. Always be aware of where you are. Be present-minded. Um, Nora, have a life insurance policy that grows in value and regularly update your insurance policy for home and contents. Your Mercury at 13 degrees Scorpio in the 10th house. Now, this degree falls in an arc between 15 degrees Libra and 15 degrees Scorpio. And this is sometimes called the Via Combusta or Fiery Way. Um, because it falls in your moon placement and Sagittarius fires involved, you would do well to cultivate sports or some sort of exercise that can expend and direct those powerful energies. Um, the tenth house placement helps in this regard with direction and ambition. You are a force to be reckoned with, Nora. Here you have the Scorpio intuition combined with Mercury's logic. You have a rational determination. You can be obsessive, sometimes uncommunicative and introspective, and you may find it difficult to truly open up to others. Remember the, the open, happy enthusiasm of your Leo moon. Tap into that and allow yourself to connect with others, Nora. There is great intellectual potential in you. You have the ability to carry great responsibility if you have a variety and intellectual stimulation in your vocation. Otherwise, boredom or ennui will hinder your progress. Um, this has connections to Saturn and an inner voice of wisdom, not unlike a father. So basically, you can father yourself. You can be your own father. Venus, Nora, your Venus is at five degrees in Scorpio in the ninth house. You have a great love of possessions. In this placement, your Sagittarius fire is enhanced, as is your enjoyment of the pleasures of life. You are a marvelous hostess, Nora. Um, there is an inherent need for a rewarding, harmonious relationship 
and this is intensified by Scorpio. It clashes with the independence loving nature of Sagittarius. Um, decide what you want in a relationship. Um, describe to yourself your best case scenario, Nora, and, and seek that. Um, work towards that goal in yourself. Be careful of jealousy, resentment, and an inability to forgive. This can inhibit personal relationships. Again, remember, Nora, it is human nature to disappoint, so cultivate forgiveness always. Venus is at its most sensual in this placement, even greater reason to relinquish those prior negatives mentioned and just enjoy. Scorpio needs a positive outlet. The 10th house placement again makes for excellent financial investment skills. Good for you. Financial gain is important but need not be the only goal or motivation. Freelance is probably not the best choice for you, uh, Nora. You are better at working with others. Mars in Aquarius at 28 degrees puts you on the gravitational cusp between Aquarius and Pisces, the cusp of sensitivity. This is an interesting placement, Nora, having a pull from both the unconventional and freedom loving Aquarius. Um, which is all about friendships opposite the compassionate and psychic depths of Pisces, which seeks isolation. Your independent nature and need for freedom is enhanced here, as is your unconventional um, manners, your zaniness, um, and your humor. You are extremely amusing and entertaining, sometimes to the point of embarrassment for others. Um, there can be bursts of activity, tension, or perhaps eccentricities, or even perversity, so be careful. Um, falling in your second house, the acquisition of wealth and possessions is illuminated. Perhaps you are a big spender, Nora. Um, emotions are intensified and expressed passionately via that Martian energy. Um, there is much, much sensual pleasure given to partners, however brief that partnership may be. Determination is again noted and you have strong physical resources. Um, your drive thrives on opposites and you like competition. Lastly, Nora, your ascendant is at 14 degrees Sagittarius. Therefore, this is your real self. Fire and enthusiasm, you will have what you want. Um, you would do well to be involved in professional sports or perhaps a career as a writing instructor or in language, law, or the travel industry. Your medium Chaley is in Libra, and this gives you the ability to find balance um, in the conflicting aspects of self and to help you find a path that allows you to shine and excel. Remember to rise above the petty emotions and instead focus on the positive energies of your passion and awareness. Um, it's like Freddie Mercury said, the reason we're successful, darling, my overall charisma, of course, you are fearless, flirtatious, high-spirited. These aspects give you the power to overcome any disappointments or limitations. All the best to you, Nora. And thank you for joining us here on Soul Chemistry. Please respond, um, post with a question or comments, you know, um, tell your friends. Thank you so much, and until next time, ciao bella.